Hey guys, what's up? My name's Tater and this is going to be my first video. And for the first video, we are going to be playing a early access game on Steam, which means it is not fully finished and I'm not positive if there is an end to the game yet, but we are going to be playing Satisfactory. Now, I have played a tiny bit of it. I know you build a factory and you get like this space elevator thing and you level it up and that's about all I know. I don't know like good mechanics in the game of how to build a factory. I don't know what I should be doing really that much because I don't know a ton about it but we're gonna hop in. We're gonna start a new game for this. Uh, I've played on this one on the snowy looking one but I don't know which one to go for. Uh, good for more experienced. Alright, um, we'll go go with the rocky desert. Actually, no, we'll go with the one that I haven't played on. Uh, there we go. Uh, we're gonna put private, that way it's just my own server. I don't think any of the friends that I have on Steam have this game anyways, so we're just gonna go private. We should, yep, get a little cutscene here. We're in space. Nice, nice. Attention, Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Oh, that guy's cute. It looks like a little minion from uh, Typical Me. Buildings. Oh, I've done that. I've made a miner and a conveyor belt. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Do I get a vacuum that I can just vacuum stuff up? Clay just pooped his pants. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. All right, that's the part I'm not good at. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Okay, I'll be effective. Morning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in five, four, three, two, one. Planet fall procedure initialized. Ooh, everything's shaking. We got a nice little flashlight over there. We got fire coming from the bottom of my uh, pod. Thingy. So I've gotten to the point where you get like the conveyor belt mark 2 and it like speeds it up and stuff and that's where jump just got confusing because I couldn't figure out how to do it and make it like using the less power making it the most product that I could and getting everything that I needed. So there might be a lot of redesign in this series. Like, one episode I might have this, and then it's going to look completely different in another one, just because I found out a better way to make it more efficient. Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Okay, guess it's at 100%, I Remember, didn't check. Efficiency first. Godspeed. Got my little flashlight. Whoa. We got some green Welcome gas. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 Thank ABB, you. B, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive planetfall. Congratulations. Note. Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. First objective, please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. The hub. Note, fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. 
Yeah. All important fix-it data and communication is recorded so and stored in the codex, including these steps. Give me all the leads. I waste a lot in this game, not on purpose. But yeah, sulfur. I don't even know what that does. Know what it is? Don't know what it does though. Um, grab this berry. There we go. I don't know where I should be putting my stuff at. I think I want like an open plain area. I don't even know what that ore was. I thought it was copper, but it wasn't. Um, I'm not seeing a lot. I kind of want to build somewhere that's close to titanium because I know I'm, I'm going to need a ton of that. To my inventory. You can't even open that. Um, let's see. What else? Ooh, I could build on the waterfall with the hot air balloon things up there. I don't know what that is. A little area down there. I don't know if I want to build it up here because then I'm going to have to build like conveyor belts going all the way up here. That could be a pain. Um. Yeah, I mean, a ton of leaves though. That's nice. Um, I think I can always move it, anyways. Hmm. Second objective. Please ensure you have your fix it incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note, according to fix it regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Third objective, please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Uh, stay away from me, dude. Alright, we're gonna run over to this iron, figure it out. I should be able to open... My building thing. Oh, no, I don't have it yet. Never mind. That's why. It's like, I don't know why I can't build the hub right now. That's weird. Oh, I lost it. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Just iron at. I'm gonna go for this iron over here. See what? It's like an open area if we like it over here. If not, we can always move. That thing's cool looking. Got a little tiny head. I like it. It's a cute little guy. Oh, we got something right there. Hold on. Grab, grab the berry. Grab. There we go. What's this? Is this iron? Cop. Oh. Hey, buddy. You don't. Oh. Ha. <laughs> go to him. Suck. Where'd he go? Let me zap his butt. Up. What is this? Copper? Iron and iron. Alright. Thinking we might build here then. We got iron. Iron's pretty good. We can build like right down there. In this open flat area. God, why are there. Boom! I don't even know what. Alien card paste. Get out of here. Zap, zap. There we go. Um, I should, I don't know why I can't build the hub. Um, alright, I'm gonna open the game and then restart it. Let's try again. Alright, here we go. Um, that's weird, I still can't 
build. That's kind of what I need to do. Hmm. Yeah, berry. You have to do what the hint is saying over there and gather some iron. I'm pretty sure I put down the hub before I got iron last game. Last time I tried it out. Fourth objective. Oh, no, I'm just dumb. Note, wow. to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution, ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. Yeah, so as you guys see, I don't know what I'm doing because I should have been looking to the left. 50 iron because I was telling me what to do and I was not paying attention so let's try this again I'm gonna build it down here it's nice and open um, build it right there seems good a craft bench and a hub terminal yeah so this is where we upgrade you have unlocked Hub feature, manual craft bench. Hub feature, hub terminal. Fifth objective, complete hub upgrade one. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. So as I was saying, this is where we get all of our upgrades and stuff. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get to complete space elevator phase three. But we're gonna go ahead and make this Some iron rods. Uh, yeah. I was kind of hoping to find an area with water because I heard that using coal and water you can make like a ton of power and energy, and that's like the best way to do it until you get nuclear, nuclear, whatever. Got a little thing there. Congratulations. You have unlocked building workshop equipment portable miner inventory additional slots hub feature personal storage. Sixth objective complete hub upgrade two. note portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. All right, we're gonna make that crafting bench thingy, the workshop, whatever it was called. Needed six iron plates and four things. There we go. Uh, we're gonna put it like right there. I think that's a good place. And what do I need for? Oh, just four more rods. Actually, I'm gonna make two of them though, because there are two iron spots right there. There we go. No need eight iron rods. There we go. Uh, crap, two of these. go to run all the way back up there what was that thing also there was a, a red red thing over there that was glowing that I don't know what it does so I didn't want to go over to it yet because it would like kill me or something so, put those two things down. Got those. Boom. We're gonna just let those mine up a hundred iron. We're gonna come back over here. Figure out if I can get this next upgrade. Wrong thing. There we go. 
Um, yeah, because now I get like a smelter, power line, all this good stuff. 20 and 10. I don't know if I have enough to make that. Ooh, I'm not gonna have enough. Dang. Alright, hopefully these have already mined up a ton. I know they work pretty good. Take that food. Uh, I think that's copper right where my cursor is. Which, if so, then that's really nice, having iron and copper right here. Hopefully there's two things of copper over there that I can mine up. Uh, grab all. Grab all. Man, this game's really pretty. It's the moon and the sun. I think that's the moon at least. Maybe it's just another planet. I don't know what that green, like, smoke stuff does. Probably hurts me. Probably like, poison or something, but... Oh well. I wonder, can I get armor in this game? Because that... Well, we already knew that one of those things would attack me. The Sonic dude. And I zapped in the butt. We know that thing attacks me. The big long leg things seem passive. The thing that's like right next to me. Um, there was another guy over by the red glowing thingy that I don't think is passive because he was kind of coming at me and then went away. Oh, this is cool now. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. So I can. You have unlocked hub feature biomass burner. Scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Man. Seventh objective, complete hub upgrade three. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Man, Ada. She keeps cutting me off, man. We're gonna have issues, Ada. This isn't gonna go well. Alright, what do I need for this one? Uh, 20... some wire. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna make another... one of those things. I need the... two metal plates and four... metal rods. I think. I hope. Make another miner. There we go. And we're gonna go figure out. Hopefully, this is copper over here. And it's not. Oh, but there is some over there and over there. And there's some over there too. Okay. What's this? Don't even know what that is, or what that's used for, but okay. Uh, 300, 300, 235. I think the one over here is closest, though, to my base. Oh, we have a flashlight. Nice. I think this one's the closest to my base. Wherever it was. Oh, there it is. Which is good, because then I can, can line it up with these miners over here have like a a nice little factory going. They're all coming from the same spot. I think that might be it right there. Yep. Alright, that's not too far from the base. It's pretty good. There's another one of those Zoomy dudes gonna attack me. Hope he doesn't, because I don't have oh come on, do it. Ow. Ow. Haha, uh, killed you. Grab your skin and zap zap zap. That's what you get. 
Don't try messing with me again. Put that guy down. There we go. Um, gonna eat some of these. Let's gain back my health. Good. Put that back on. I need to get these berries, but then I need to get more iron so I can craft more stuff. 92, that's good, that's good, run back to base, craft 20 of the plates and 20 of the rods, that way we can get that upgrade out of the way, then all we have to do is get the, the 20 wire, which I'm, I might be able to do now, I'm not sure, I don't know how much copper ingots it takes to make wire. Let me craft this stuff up first, and then we'll we'll get to that. And put it all in. Craft a little bit extra wire than we needed. That's nice. That's nice. We got ladder right there. A lot of screens. You have unlocked scanner feature. A moose. Limestone. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in okay. the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Smelter constructor power hub upgrade four. Note use good. power pulls good. to expand the power network for optimal results. Um Yeah, so now we need a lot of that. A lot of that. Yeah. So now it's getting the stuff that we need a lot of. I need a fine concrete still. We're gonna just like that. Um Nope, not what I meant to search for. Okay, there's some 180, 127, 180. Um, we're gonna go try and find this one. Oh wait, I need a portable miner. So then I can start mining some of that stuff without having to do it all by hand. Not what I meant to do. Close that stuff. Yeah, the whole purpose of this game though is to make sure you don't have to do it by hand like I am right now. Because this would take forever to get anywhere in the game. Um... You want everything to be done for you, so you don't have to do much of anything. Turn this little flashlight on, put a miner in my hand, and I don't know where I'm going anymore. Limestone, Oh, S-A-M, or Sam or What is this? That's cool, it's kind of like purplish. Alright, um, oh, it's right here. Nice. Oh, there's another guy here. Great. That thing down. Don't do it. Oh, he's stuck. Look at him. Punch. Uh huh. Whoa. And the tradition. Zap. There we go. Is this mining it? Oh, okay, it is. I'm gonna put down another one. Can I? Oh, I'm stuck. Can I have two on the same thing? Oh, I can. Perfect. I'm gonna let those mine. Then I'm going to start building uh, a smelter. Because I think I get a miner in my next upgrade, and then I can make. I could start making some of it auto. Oh, nope. I don't get a miner yet. Well, never mind. I'm not gonna make a smelter yet. I'm going to go get the iron and copper that's up there and start crafting all that stuff and then get the concrete, the 10 concrete that I need to. So I'll see you guys back when I'm done crafting all this. Alright, so we're back. We crafted a little bit more stuff than we needed. Uh, crafted 15 extra concrete just because we had the extra stuff. Um, turn my little flashlight off. Doesn't look like anything new is added congratulations you have unlocked building conveyor belts and poles inventory additional slots i need this ninth objective complete hub upgrade five note
portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice. When planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Okay, we're gonna go around to the miners again, collect all the stuff from the miners. Like that, and that. We're gonna go collect the iron and oh, more copper from the ones up there. And then I'm gonna have to probably cut it again because it's gonna take me a while to craft that stuff by hand. But once we come back, then I will be setting up the burst miners to smelters to all that stuff. So yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it here and I'll see you guys when I'm done crafting all that stuff. Alright, we're back once again. Crafted all the stuff that I needed for this upgrade. Go over there, anything new at it? Oh, something's over here. Oh, just another biomass burner. That's nice. Congratulations. You have unlocked building miner mark one. Building storage container. Hub this. feature, additional biomass burner. Tenth objective. That. Complete hub upgrade six. Note, there are no notes. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot to make. How much do I already have? I have none of that stuff crafted already. Okay. So we're going to put the miner at one, smelter at two, and then constructor. And then storage. Storage. And then we'll go five and six. Seven, eight. Alright, I don't need anything binded to nine and ten for right now. Um, what does it take to make this? Ten of that and ten concrete. I have the stuff. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna craft up ten concrete right now and ten iron uh, plates. Uh, don't know what I'm doing. Alright, ten iron plates. And then I can just grab the. The thing that I had there and start and just use that one. I'll have to craft another portable miner. Craft this. And then what do I need for a smelter? That and eight rods. Or eight wire. I have the rods. Boom. I'm gonna need some extra metal plates for the conveyor belt part of it. Um, go with eight. I'm gonna need more than that, but we're just gonna go with that for now. Boom, what do I need for this? Wire and reinforced metal plates. Uh,. I need screws for that in order to do that, and then I need more stuff. I need more uh, iron rods and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just go ahead and build this thing. Grab that and pick it up. I'm gonna face it. My hood is that way. So like there should be good. Grab that out of the way. Alright, I'm gonna go cut one more time. I'm gonna make another miner and put it down. And I think I'm just gonna handcraft everything to get the next upgrade because I need the biomass burner. That way I don't have poles going all the way up here and I can just set like one there and connect it across and connect this whole part of the factory together with one or two biomass burners because I'm gonna need a few of them. And I'm gonna get the stuff to make the constructor and all of that stuff. So I'll be back in one second for you guys. All right, we're putting all of the stuff into it to get this final upgrade. There we go, we finally got pretty much everything I need so far, I think. Um, yeah, there's no more tier things I should get here. Spaceship, oh, spaceship thing. Building, space elevator. Building, biomass burner. Part, biomass. Motivational message. That on nine. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On Put behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. 
Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Note, future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and as such initiating project assembly. Good luck. All right, this video is getting a little bit long. I think I'm going to cut it here and we'll start building the factory part tomorrow or in the next video. Uh, I just want to show you guys real quick how big... Oh, I can't even show you guys because it doesn't even fit on the screen if I look up. But that's the space elevator thing that we need to upgrade over time and it's huge. Um, yeah, I'm going to call it here. This uh, series I'm doing... It's not like the main thing that's going to be up on my channel, so I don't know how often we're going to be uploading Satisfactory because it's not a full game. I know September 4th when Avengers come out, I'll probably be making videos on that. I think sometime in November or October when Cyberpunk comes out, we're going to be making videos on that. Really excited about those games. Uh, maybe Assassin's Creed Valhalla because I really like Thor, Odin, and that Assassin's Creed has to do with that stuff so we might make videos on that but yeah if you guys want to see something just let me know down in the comments below and I think I'm gonna sign it off right here and thank you guys for watching see you in the next video